going special forces, being becoming a Green Beret isn't for you. I'd rather you figure that out now as opposed to going through SFAS and the Q course, destroy your family. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to jump on here and make this video just so I can share my knowledge as far as what I think about this particular topic. I was on a call earlier today with a young man. Uh, we spoke and he mentioned uh, a few things to me that got me thinking that, hey bro, like maybe special forces just isn't for you. And that's okay, right? Like you don't have to be a special forces guy. Not everybody is going to make it through and not everybody should. There's a reason why it's 1% of the 1% that actually makes it through and become a Green Beret. And there's nothing wrong with that at all, right? We need good infantrymen. We need good medics. We need good armors. We need police officers. We need firefighters. So don't beat yourself up if you're not ASF guy or if you fail to make it through. So I was on the call with this young man and uh, he was just asking me a couple of questions as far as what he had going on with his family. He mentioned that the family didn't want to go towards this route because they just had a kid, right? He needed to be home and the child is having some issues and that him being away would just complicate things, right? So in this particular point, I need you to think about it. What's your priority? Is it gonna be your wife and your child? Or is it going to be going to selection and trying to get to the Q course? You have a responsibility as a man that you need to uphold. And I always preach on this channel, if you don't have the support of your family, things are going to be a lot harder. Now, moving on from that issue, I also asked them, hey, when you think about your family, your wife and your kids, you got to know why are you doing it? Why are you willing to sacrifice them so you can go accomplish this goal? Why do you want to be a special forces operator? And he didn't really have an answer for me, right? So I'm like, dude, if you don't have a strong why as to why you want to go to selection, crush it, go to the Q course, crush it and get to one of the operational groups so you can go do work then why are you doing this? Somewhere along the way, when you get kicked in the nuts, you're not gonna make it, right? You gotta have a strong why. You gotta know why you wanna become a Green Beret. If you can't answer that question, if it's because, hey, you just wanna look cool or you just wanna do it for all the material things, then more than likely, man, you're not gonna make it through. And if you do make it through, you're gonna be a liability, right? When shit gets tough, you're gonna be one of those dudes that's like, oh man, this is nothing like I expected. So again, I asked him, why are you trying to do this, man? Why do you wanna do it? And he couldn't answer me. And after being on the phone with him after a while, I was like, dude, like maybe special forces isn't for you, man. And there's nothing wrong with that. He just happened to be a 11 Bravo. I'm like, do you love what you do as an 11 Bravo? He's like, yeah, I love it. You know, I just want to do it on the highest level. I'm like, well, dude, if you love what you're doing as 11 Bravo, then why don't you just stay 11 Bravo, go to Ranger School, go to Ranger Bat, and then horn that, keep enjoying what you're doing. You have all these other factors that are going to affect you if you go to selection until you get all those figured out, then dude, special operation just isn't for you, right? Going special forces, being becoming a Green Beret isn't for you at the moment. And again, I'm on here to tell you guys that there's nothing wrong with that, right? I'd rather you figure that out now as opposed to going through SFAS and the Q course, destroy your family, and then making it through, and then not truly wanting to be there, go down range, get hurt because you don't know what you're doing. Worse, get somebody else hurt because you don't know what you're doing, nor do you have the actual freaking desire to be there right i get it it's appealing right you want that beret you want that tie but you gotta want it for the right reasons there's a lot of sacrifices that comes with this territory all right and again guys there's nothing wrong with you know just accepting the fact that it's not for you there's other ways that you could crush it out there in the military there's other ways you could crush it at life if it's not for you guys, nothing wrong with that at all. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on here, guys, and share this story with you. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, guys. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.